The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 77. NASDAQ's up 35. S&Ps are up 10.5. Uh, gold contract down 1060 at 1362. We have silver down 22 cents, 17 dollars 39 cents an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude up 35 cents, 65 dollars 86 cents. Notes and bonds you get the 10 year down nine ticks, 122.04. 30 year down 13, 149. And king dollars still can't catch a bid, folks. Uh, down 432 ticks, 88.795. The euro is trading at 124 and a half to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 108 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Let's get into this market and take a look at uh, what's driving uh, the Dow Industrials. Uh, Dow out here right now up 73 bucks and strength out here this morning. Looks like it's going to be uh, good old Intel. So Intel's putting 26 positive points into the market. 3M's putting uh, 24. Travelers putting seven, uh, taken away from it. You got Caterpillar putting 16 negative points in. You got Goldman putting 10. Procter and Gamble's putting four. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the, we the weakness out here. Uh, this will definitely be uh, good old uh, Intel. Should be uh, right up here. Yeah, Intel uh, is up eight percent. You got Gilead up four. Um, maximum integrated is up three, and Biogen is uh, pushing 3.6%. Uh, taken away from it, the big number out here today is Starbucks. Starbucks down 4.8%. You got uh, Intuitive Surgical down four, Regeneron uh, off three. Uh, Starbucks right now, uh, bottom line, let's take a look there. That's down 291. Yeah, that's quite a gap. That's quite a gap. That's quite a uh, volume spike. Yeah, that, that was just a, so you get Starbucks, that's going to go after the lower end of its uh, consolidation, which is at that uh, 50 mark. Okay, metals, it's a Friday, folks. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. You want to talk about defined risk, folks, you, you need defined risk in this market. Come over to our website at TFNN. You see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner, bring it up. Uh, they'll put 25000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these defined option contracts trade. Now, Friday, gold, right? What, what do we have here? So this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, gold has been a, on a one-way trip, folks. December 12th, we were at 1238, where we hit 1265, I believe, yesterday. Yeah, 1265.40. Now, it's going after the 1265.80 from September 8th. That's what it's going after. What we've done is that we have hit that, and we've hit that with dynamite volume. Then we gave it up on price. Okay, so what you have is this. We hit that with 538,000 contracts. That was over the 500,000 from the prior, 506 the prior day, which is the ABC structure on the way up. It's a good number. So this morning, you got down to 1343. It rejected it. In fact, let me see when we did this. It probably was overnight. Yeah, it, it was. Okay. Well, no. 13th. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. It was, uh, yeah, it was, oh, it was actually right at the close, 6, 640 last night, Eastern Standard Time. And from that point on, it actually started uh, getting higher. Uh, dollar. Let's go just check, check out this. Uh, well, here, let's go to our man Tom in Plymouth first because we're going to be talking metals. What's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Pretty darn good. Yeah? How's the weather up there? Uh, nice and sunny, but it's a little good. chilly. It's 24 degrees, I think, today. Yeah, 24 is not bad, though. It's not, not it's you know. January, yeah. January day. Typical January day. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Yep. 
So, hey, so Jay Nug, right? I jumped to you guys today because I listened to you yesterday, and I know you don't like it, but um, <laughs> I took my last little bit of it, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna just play the play the gold now. So I I just bought I, from Jay Nug a little while ago. Yeah, you um, know what's so cool? Think, it, it, what Tom's saying, folks. Okay, this is what ends up happening. I listen. I love playing all these too and trading them all. And what does happen, this is pretty cool, folks, and this is what movement's all about. One, you can go from one to the other, but you got to stay where the movement is. And now we know that, guess what? We're going to have movement. It can be both ways inside of this gold and silver market. But movement is a good deal for traders because, you know, you don't need the top and the bottom intraday. Uh, but if you get close to them, guess what? It's, it's a good day. So, JNUG. Well, so, JNUG, folks, is... Today. How's that? I'm sorry? I said, I'm going to try to move it myself today. <laughs> that, you listen, that's a beautiful thing. I, that, 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 can, that can happen. So, uh, JNUG, folks, that's the direction. Uh, June to gold minus three times um, bow position of the Market Vectors Juniors uh, Trust. So, what you had out here, uh, this baby goes topside on Wednesday, hits 2050. Has volume behind the move, 15 million. Uh, gives it up yesterday, but you're still pushing it to highs. That had 18 million. So now what you're going to have, yeah, it's sweet. Yep. What you have is this. Okay, so you, you took out the high. You took it out with volume. It's going after the high from September. That's 54 million. Yeah, this is good, man. Okay, so check it out. Yeah, we've done 54 million already, not counting today, right? Yeah, last week you did 49, so we took that out. But more so, you're going after, you know, now it's not up near this yet, but that's where I expect it's going to go is the September 8th number, which is 23 low, 25 high. Um, you know, it's a good trade, man. And... All right, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. I'm gonna stay in it for a little while. I'm gonna uh, if it if it drops down a little bit, I'm just gonna buy some more. Well, you, so watch. You have what's what's what he's saying, folks, is this, okay? And this is when you can do something like this. You've taken out the swing point. You get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. That's a good scene, and your probability is much higher than just getting in the middle of a, of a move. And in this particular case, uh, bottom line, you know, this is still a nice setup. And it's particularly a nice setup because of the fact that, like this morning, picture that we have the gold contract is still down. It's down 1140. But guess what? They're buying the equities. You know, you get the GDX up 24 cents. You know, you got uh, Gold Corp up uh, four cents. You got an Eco Eagle up 18 cents. You got Vista Gold up uh, five tenths of a cent. You got uh, Gold Fields up nine cents. You know, so they're not selling the golds down, man. And, you know, what you're buying there is, you know, something that looks like it's want to go higher, man. They'll be all coming out. All of them will be coming out with earnings, too, pretty soon. So we'll see. You know, got to keep an eye on that, I guess. But uh, Oh, yeah, you eight. definitely yeah. do. Yeah, you definitely do, man. Cooking, brother. But yesterday they gave us a good time to get in yesterday afternoon, late after that, Trump's phone. There's, Thank there's, you, there's no Thank doubt, you. man. Have to love it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials up 68. NASDAQ up 33. S&P's up 9. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 54. You get the Nasdaq up 29. S&Ps are up eight. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. Thank Tom, you for calling. Um, Appreciate it. I Thank you. I have a question. I need you to tell me what if there was some news that got reported on REGN. Um, I've looked, but I can't see anything online. And I had a really good position holding. It was at 367.81, and my stop just got blown at 375. So I'm out. But before you tell say anything about that i want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday i exited when you told me and i made a, i made a healthy profit for that's awesome. for a very short period so thank you you're welcome um so regeneron um let, so this is a highly volatile stock too uh let's see what they say shares drop yeah it doesn't look like there's any there's not any big news but someone just sold it down um, you know, that being said, if I know you guys, you get stopped out, but so what this is doing is this, I mean, I'd buy it right back. <laughs> um, really? because yeah, um, what you have here is this, is that, you know, you, you made a profit even, you know, when you get stopped out, right? Um, mm -hmm. this, this got to 372. It's going against the high volume. This is the test today for the high volume low of November 29th. So Bye, that yeah. low was 353. The high of that low is 371. And you see how it went to 372, 89? That's gonna be the, you know, you've probably heard me talk about many times what equities will do is that they'll test the highs of the lows. And, you know, that's where it looks like this is gonna hold. And then you'll probably still get a bounce. and. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. so this this still looks pretty good. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, you have a great one. Have a safe one. It's going to be intriguing, folks, watching that. Uh, so Regeneron has come down quite a bit, but the bottom line, that's a classic test. Uh, let's go to the IBB and let's like, take a look at the IBB for a second, see what that looks like. 
So the IBB right now is up 127. Yeah, that's at highs. And that had that's that that took this thing out. Put this on a monthly. Yeah, the IBB's yeah the IBB's going for the 130. So the IBB, you know, the high, the high is uh, July of 2015. That high is uh, 133.59. It came down hard off that high, and you're coming up into it. Now, it's coming up in with lighter volume, and I expect you get a failure. But guess what? You're so far into the bar that it's going to go to the high. If we take a look at it, I'll show you, like, uh, LRCX, the, another equity that did that and then gave it up again. So, Lamb Research, you're up six bucks today. This is going to get interesting. So, watch what this did. This came off the high in November. November, we... We go from 219 bucks, and you know, 10 days later, you're down at 175. Monster volume, come down with uh, 7.9 million. We go topside. We try to test that with 5.4 million versus the seven. It comes downtown yesterday with 8 million. And now you're doing a counter trend bounce. This is a typical consolidation. In the bottom of that consolidation, more than likely, is going to get hit again, which is 175. That's kind of what the it looks like to me that on a much longer-term basis, that's what the IBB actually looks like it's more than likely doing also. If we go over, let's go into that bond market. I want to, those 10 years. Uh, to, okay, we take a look at the 10-year note. We got down to 122.03 today. Now, this is going to be a big day. This is what it is. Okay, so picture this. Yesterday... It had rejected 121.31. That's that's five ticks away. Remember something in the bond market, folks. 32 points, 32 ticks is one point. Uh, we did 1.7 million contracts. So that's what we're testing out here today. And the real key is going to be. In fact, this is pretty cool. We're testing that, that those low bars right now, and. Intraday, we're testing with dramatically lighter volume. This is saying that it, the bond, the ten-year note, even by the end of today, is going to have a shot to be down only five ticks, or in fact go flat, because we're coming down. It's going to be a lot more volume than this. There's 81,000 contracts down there at 950 yesterday, and we are coming down. This is cool, uh, with 30,000. It's going to need a lot more volume to break that. If we go over to the 30-year, we look at the 30-year. 30 is down 15 ticks. That's coming into it also. Intraday. Same setup. Right now, we're on uh, with four minutes into the 10 minute. You've done 4,400. Yeah, versus 12,000. Not even close. So it's going to be, uh, you know, that volatility is going to continue uh, inside that bond market. And when we, we actually look at the rate, rate and structure, 10-year right now is uh, 2.65. So it's closing in once again on the, on the high for the last year. The, the high is 2.659. Some of the higher volume stocks out here. And because, uh, you know, next week, too, you talk about kicking into earnings, man. There's going to be a lot of them next week. You got Apple next week. You get Google. Uh, you got Microsoft. You get Facebook. Uh, some of the higher um, high volume stocks out here today uh, Intel is the leader. That's up four bucks. Uh, GE is down 14 cents. You get Starbucks off 290. Uh, let's see. We got uh, VMware. VMware is up. 860. What that's all about is Dell is thinking of going public again. Uh, they're also thinking of buying the rest of uh, VMware. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Uh, you get the Freeport Mac Marin down 33 cents. Uh, Snap is down seven. Netflix is up 264. Netflix is just uh, on a roll. There's no two, two ways about that. We go and we take a look at the uh, the king out here, Amazon. So Amazon right now, another all-time high. 30, uh, uh, 1391, and Amazon, what day did they come out? They come out the first two. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. So Amazon comes out 
the first. Apple comes out the first. Google comes out the first. That is going to be one heck of a day. And, you know, remember something, folks, in the Nadex platform, this is what's so cool. You know, you've seen Tommy and I do the volatility trades. Well, at earnings season, you can do that volatility trade right before 4 o'clock inside the NDX 100. The reason being is that Google comes out a split second after 4 o'clock. Amazon does the same thing. Apple doesn't. Apple comes out at 4.30, so Apple wouldn't be in that mix. Um, Facebook, let me see if Facebook's on the first two, because Facebook does come out right after it. No, that's the 31st. But you get two of them. That's a, that's a big one for the volatility trade. You stay right there, folks, and we come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 61. You get the Nasdaq up 35. S&Ps are up nine. Let's go to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. Paul, what's going on, brother? What's happening? Happy Friday to you, Tom. Happy Friday to you too, man. Let's make it a great weekend. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's been it's off to a good start, so I'm excited for this weekend. Cool, man. Hey, so um, I want to take a look at the Dow on the monthly chart, and if we have time, maybe talk a little bit about the uh, Bitcoin futures. I know they're expiring today. 
Oh, cool. Let's 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 do that. Okay, so I'll take the Dow. I'll put this on a monthly. Okay, <laughs> we're a rocket ship, right? <laughs> oh, it's definitely a rocket ship. But I um I wanted to see what I'm looking at, and I want to uh, run this by you and see if this is uh if I got this right. So um this looks like an ABC up to me that's completed on the monthly, going back on the low. Yeah. Um. And it looks like we're right at it today. So talk, listening to Larry and some of the other uh, guests on the show, um, that Keith had, uh, maybe that reversal is, is right around the corner here. So let's take a look at this. So if we do 18,351, 18,351, I just want to see right what the exact number is, uh, 6469, 6469. It's 11,000 plus 15, 370, yeah, 27,252, okay. Um, you know, we'll see, I mean, and that, the thing to keep in mind here is that when you get an ABC structure, right, that's only A to B equals C to D. Like, these can extend themselves, you know, a 1 to 1.382, a 1 to 1.50, and a 1 to 1 1.618, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, so I was uh, listening to Martin Armstrong. I, I called in Larry's show a, a long time ago, and I asked him about this because he was talking about Martin Armstrong. Martin Armstrong yes. has a prediction that the Dow is going to get up to 40-ish thousand. Okay. And I believe I, when I did the 618 extension, it is right around the 40,000 mark. Yeah, so. it probably would be because if I back that down, right, right, if that's what he's projecting. Interesting. So we'll see you know, how so takes I, out over the next couple of days. I mean, if you're looking to go shot something, I'd be going. I'd 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 keep chasing the the small caps. That's the 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 small caps are showing that they're still really weak. They, you know, every day, you know, it's like that's been on a consistent basis. Let's say for the last couple of weeks, you know, it's had a couple of good days, but realistically, they keep selling that down a bit. Now, I wouldn't be shot in the Dow, not not yet, anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep my eye on it. Thanks for uh, thanks for that. So, Bitcoin. So, are those futures contracts is it expiring today? Yeah, let's take a look at it. So, XBT. You know what? I'm really surprised at. I'm actually surprised. And this is where it's good that they're actually trading in the future market now. Because let, let me look at something here. So, okay. So we have. Boy, they're not trading a lot of them. Interesting. So at the CBOE, uh, there's 5,600 that have traded so far. And that each at the CBOE, folks, one contract is one coin. At the CME, you can see there's only 132 contracts. Each contract is five coins. No one's trading these things, man. Wow. Um, you know, I don't know whether they expire today, Paul. Um I'll have to find that out for you. I mean, you can go to the CME site because I just haven't traded these at the futures. Um, or how they roll really them, interesting basically. interesting about the timing, if it is expiring today, because to me it looks like it's setting up for another leg down. <laughs> yeah, like no, I agree. No, it, 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 I'm surprised. So what happened overnight, folks, is that you had, uh, what, 400 million lost in Japan. You know, coin, coin, coin check. That's one of Japan's biggest digital exchanges. Said that 400 million of the NEM cryptocurrency was lost after it was sent outside the venue, spooking investors in the country uh, that's still wary of digital uh, token exchanges after the collapse of uh, Mount Gox. Company officials uh, said uh, during the late night news conference at the Tokyo Exchange that they didn't know how the 500 million in NEM coins went missing, but they're working to ensure the safety of all their clients' assets. Well, big deal. They already lost 500 million, right? I mean, that's. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? It's insane. This market so listen is to this. totally wild. Um, yeah, and, and this is the 10th largest cryptocurrency by market value. What is, what is NEM? Do you know? Um, just, I can look it up real quick. That, no, um, I'm, I'm just curious. I, you know what I mean? But, okay. you know, but bottom line is that there's that money down the drain. Uh, 
Okay, so it says they're like Bitcoin. You can't track them or get, get any of those coins back. No, they're done. They, they get stolen. That's what they're claiming. You know what I mean? That was it was found in 2012. Had 71 employees as of July. Um, their headquarters uh, in Tokyo. But guess what, man? Um, yeah, they run commercials on uh, national TV with a big uh, local comedian. Pretty intense, man. You know? Wow. Yeah, I know. I just pulled up so, a chart of that NEM, and it, uh, wow, it got really smoked over the past couple hours. Um, yeah. I don't know exactly what it is, but versus Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's looking pretty bad. Um, I was pretty excited well, to hear what you were talking about, I think it was two days ago, where they're going to bring another firm in to, with the trading, with the cryptocurrencies, yes. and link it with Coinbase or something like that? That's right, trading technologies. It's, it's, it's going to be a big deal. So trading technologies, folks, is the they're just they're a firm you never hear of, but it's the software behind every large hedge fund, broker dealer, bank that can simultaneously trade around the world on one platform. That's what it does. So instead of having all different broker dealer accounts, you can you have one monster account, the prime brokerage account, and what a prime brokerage account is, that you can trade everywhere. Trading Technologies is the technology that makes that happen. Out of the 20 largest banks in the world, they have 19 of them. Um, oh, wow. That's yeah, so it's huge. And so what they've done is that they just made a deal with Coinbase, and that Coinbase is going to be on their platform. So this, watch how this works, folks. This is, this is what makes this and should make it more liquidity for everything that's on Coinbase. You know when you do a transaction right now, Paul, on Coinbase? Well, you got to put yeah. your money in Coinbase, put it out, right? If you do a right. transaction, let's say that you're on Thinkorswim, you put your money in, you put your money out. If you do a transaction on Schwab, you put your money in, you put your money out. What the tra trading technology platform does is that you have a prime brokerage. All the money's in the prime brokerage, right? The technology itself is distributing money and trades. Well, they distribute the trades. The money gets settled separately. But because the technology is so good and the way that the setup is so good being the prime brokerage all everyone has much better liquidity off one platform you know awesome i can't wait for it man so hopefully uh that will be coming soon i'm looking forward to it okay brother have a great one man hey, have, have a, a safe weekend. one stay right there folks we're coming right back we have uh, the dow industrials are right now up 89 you get the nasdaq up uh, 47 s&ps are up 13 coming right back Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining 
combining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bag and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. up 46 s and p's are up 13 let's go to mock in bedford hey mock what's going on you how you doing man good how you doing good man good to hear from you yeah yeah uh happy new year late happy new year um that's a beautiful where's Connie been vacation no he's gonna be back folks he'll be back monday he uh he had, a, he had an operation on his leg uh he's doing Ooh. good yeah so uh at least he's doing good now, thank God. So he should be back Monday. Okay, well, we will keep a little white life out there for him. Thanks, man. Um, Appreciate it. Tom, I wanted to ask you, what's the difference between Nugget, N-U-G-T, and U-G-L-D? Yeah. And U-G-L-D. Okay, so this is the U-G-L-D is... Okay. This is the Velocity Shares uh, three times long ETN, exchange traded note, uh, maturity based on the performance of the underlying index, which is the S&P GSCI Gold Index Excess Return. Now, let me see if I can find out what's inside this. Bummer. Okay. Um, you know, I, I just can't do this quick. The, the way to do this, Mark, is go on the Velocity Shares website so that you can see what the holdings actually are. They appear to be very similar. Okay, of the of the GDX, right? All right. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. they could be. I, I just don't, I don't know. I mean, that's that's okay. that's the bottom line. Um, if we take a look at this, let's just look at this. So, you got a hundred thousand. Yeah, this does plenty of volume too. That's you know, you, you did one point six million yesterday. You know, so it does plenty of volume. Um, you know, the nugget does a lot more than that, though. I mean, you know, the nugget does nine million a day. So, if you're looking for liquidity. And you're doing the same thing. What you'd want to do is that you'd want to stay in the most liquid one because that means the spread more than likely is less. Instead oh, okay. of three pennies, it's one penny. You know what I'm saying? I. Mm hmm You know. So. Yeah. I I also Ooh. have an equity question for you. Um, a friend of mine wants to short Boeing. What do you think of shorting Boeing? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, you know? that thing's been a been on a, on a rocket ship up. It has, it has, and it right now. See that rocket ship up here? If I put this, 
you know, it, it's got volume up here too, man. I mean, you know, you got 352 million. I wouldn't, you know, there's just not an indication there's any sellers in it yet. I, you know, you know how this goes, man. Just because something's high, you know, it can go a lot higher. And what it doesn't have, so look at this. This is pretty amazing, actually. So, you know, technically it has some good volume up there, but fundamentally this, the PE, you know, you know, is, is basically, you know, 33, but they're, you know, that's going forward, but they're growing. Let's see. Let me just see this for a second. So, well, they're only growing by about 5%. No, the commercial airline business is growing by seven. Defense is down. Defense is probably going to go back up. The Middle East is where they're getting all their bread from now. They're growing at 13% in the Middle East. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shot in Boeing just yet. Uh, you, know, you know how this goes. You wait for the first sell-off. You wait for a counter-trend bounce, and that's how you want to sell it. You know, if you, a classic is uh, LRCX. You know, LR, LAM research, if you want to see something would be a classic that you can take a shot I wouldn't do it out here today, but it, it's it's ready. Um, is Lamb Research, you know? Lamb gets slammed, mm -hmm. comes down hard, right? Comes down from 219 to 175. Made the retracement all the way back, man. It's like, oh my god! And then you know that you have a seller. They don't, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's high, it's, so that's what normally would happen with a Boeing too. You know, first you get a seller. Something's going on. Something's changed. You get a retracement back close to top side, then you give it up again. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like someone's juicing these uh, indexes. I'm watching uh, watching the indexes. Um, the Dow is up 20 points the last 10 or 15 minutes, and well, S and P's come up. Nasdaq's come up too. It has. And watch what happens here. Now, this is where this gets really intriguing, and this is a little smoke and mirrors, folks. And what it is is that because we're at such high numbers now in the Dow, right? You can see the Dow's up 100, but that's only three-tenths of 1%. Well, guess what? You know, when you're up 100, uh, let's say up 100, 200, when people hear that at night, they say, oh my God, I gotta get in, I gotta get in. Not realizing that you're already at a high number, it's a price-weighted index, all these stocks that are inside here, uh, bottom line, you know, don't have to go up that high, meaning percentage-wise, in order to put huge juice inside the Dow Industrials. You know, you can, you can see out here this morning, you know, if I bring it up, you know, 3M is putting 41 positive points as a $258 stock, you know? And that's bottom line is that that is only up 2%. Now watch this, you have Intel up 10%, but yet it only can put 28 points because it's a $49 stock. And then, if, you know, on the other side of that, you can, Poor GE, you know, bottom line with GE, that's down, you know, another 19 cents. But because it's a 15, $16 stock now, that's only taken away one point. One point, you know. So that's, you know, un until we get a good downdraft, that would work the opposite way in a good downdraft. But guess what? Doesn't look like the Dow wants to go there just yet. If you, if you look at yeah, the small well, caps are weak, man. You, you know, you can see even right now, yeah. you know, they, they were up seven points earlier. They they seem to open them up every day, and then it has a hard time staying up, you know. You think a lot, do you think a lot of our buying is the uh, Europeans coming in in the morning and buying our, our equities in, in the morning, and then them not being around to, uh, to buy more in the afternoon? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. Because I mean, you, 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 you never if know. If you look at the history of the uh, of the futures overnight for the last week or two, you'll see real some pretty good spikes right around three o'clock in the morning, our time, when Europe opens. So I don't know if there's a correlation there or not, but that's an interesting thing for someone to play with over the weekend and look at that. You know, no, go no, back I, I, you, Listen, the, the point you're talking about, I. My take is that, yeah, we're in a one-world market. I'm always looking, and I think we have a huge advantage. Like, what has happened in Europe, man? If Europe's getting going higher, most of the time we're going higher. If it's getting hit, we're getting hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is.
this this whole you know on your keyboard you can buy whatever you want without being a big dude anymore so it's viable mm -hmm. have a great right, one man have a safe one Tommy for us, will you? I'm sorry I will I absolutely will man thanks so okay, much have a great one have a safe thank one you. bye 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 stay right there folks come right back Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Achievers rise above the rest, and when they see an opportunity, they take action, massive action. Achievers capitalize on every resource in order to experience success at its absolute max. And on Wednesday, January 31st, 5 to 6 p.m., I'll share with subscribers of Mastering Probability how to achieve even more success with the extraordinary tools that I use to call the markets. These tools predicted the Ebola 2015 stock market bottom, the December 2017 gold bottom, and why subscribers added to their mining positions this month as well. Learn the pattern that projects the Dow's next upside target of 30,740. Folks, great moments were born from great opportunity. So don't miss this opportunity to take advantage of my 30-day money-back guarantee for mastering probability. All the details are on the homepage of TFN.com. Sign up today and reserve your spot for the ultimate subscriber event. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 89. You get the Nasdaq up 48. S&Ps are up uh, 14. Uh, let's go over inside the uh, good old king dollar and see if we're going to get any more action there because uh, we right now, we closed flat yesterday. You did monster volume yesterday. Now, this is what's going to be kind of intriguing watching how this shakes out. So we get down at 77,000 contracts. Uh, you've done 24 today, which is still big. Let me put this on a continuous contract for a second. Because we're right at the level where you could basically get some support. But as I said, because we came down so fast, I don't think we're going to get the support. Yeah, the way if we close where we are closing here today, we're going to have more trouble, uh, trouble next week uh, with the dollar. This is what it is. So the highs of 2008 and the highs of 2000 
and 10 inside the dollar index. That, those are going to be the highs of the lows. Lay out at 89,250 and like 88,800. And we're at 88,800 right now. Now, when you come into highs of lows, and these are high volume highs of lows, if you're going to reject it, you normally come in with a lot less volume. If you look at Ray Generon, we went through Ray Generon a little bit earlier, that's how you come into it. You come into that high volume bar, your contraction of volume is pretty dramatic, and it rejects it. In this particular case, what has happened is that we're coming in, monster price spread, monster volume. That's saying that next week, guess what? This thing's going lower. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we, uh, have, we're going to swim lessons, and of course, I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Dow right now up 77, NASDAQ up 49, S&P's up 13. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.